Hey, in this lecture, I will I will discuss how to use craft tool, which bases on pairwise exchange method, to develop <coughs> block plan layouts. As we discussed before, pairwise exchange method is an improvement type heuristic algorithm. Therefore, craft is also improvement type uses improvement type heuristic algorithms okay so it doesn't guarantee an optimal solution different from the example i saw before in pairwise exchange method craft can also handle departments with unequal sizes okay so un unequal size departments can be cons considered in pairwise exchange method the shape of departments are restricted to, to rectangles. However, in craft, shapes are not re restricted to rectangles. However, one of the limitations of craft is that only departments that are adjacent or equal sizes can be exchanged. Okay? So now let's see how we are going to use craft tool. I already uploaded I already uploaded craft tool in your folder. So go there and unzip that file. And you will have this folder, craft. Okay. We are going to open lay them xlsx file. In layout PDF, you can see the instructions. Okay. Let's open lay them xlsx. Do not open layout XLA because it includes algorithm. It doesn't run as a stand-alone application. Click lay them. When you open the first time, you have to enable the content. Okay, you will get a message on this right here. Okay, don't forget to enable the content. So, the first sheet includes the link to the instructions. I would like to credit I would like to credit the professors who wrote this too from University of Texas. Thanks to them, now we have a very simple and efficient tool to develop a layout plan using pairwise exchange method. When you go through these pages, you can easily learn how to use craft for facility layout problems on a single story menu, like in block plan. Okay? Well, now let me simply or briefly explain how it is used these are the example sheets so for every layout study we have two sheets for instance production is the name of layout i study on it okay underline facility underline layout layout underline layout sheets includes the basic information, basic inputs, input data for layout study, such as flow metrics, cost metrics, okay, or the size of departments, the size of the available area, and how many and the, the number of departments we will have. Okay. So then then the second sheet underline facility shows the solution shows the initial layout shows the flows similarly these this is the 
This is this is an another example. Craft layout, craft facility. This is an another example. Craft two facility, craft two layout. Okay. Now let me discuss the characteristics of these teeth. Now let's take a look at craft layout. In craft layout, by the way, the yellow cells, the yellow cells cannot be modified, shouldn't be changed, shouldn't be modified, okay? You are allowed to change the values in the white cells. Okay, so the name of the problem is craft. How many departments? There are 10. How many fixed points? Zero. Fixed points refer to the points, to the input and output points in a facility where the materials go flow, I'm sorry, flow through. Okay? Facility information, it is a scaling factor. It's going to be bigger or smaller than the given length and width. The length of the facility is 11 cells. Okay? 11 cells. And the width is 15 cells. So in total, we will have 165 cells available. As we saw in block plan, systematic layout planning example, we had 6 by 7 grid, right? So this is what it is. And departments, these are the names of departments. And F or V, it means this. F means fixed. So if a location of any department is fixed, then you have to say F. Otherwise, V refers that the location of that department is variable. So I can change its location and look for the best layout. How much area they require? That much area in terms of number of cells. This is number of, these are number of cells, these are number of cells. So as you can easily guess that the summation of the total area requirement by departments should be less than or equal to this number, right? So in this example, how much? We have one departments require 160, 160 cells, and I do have 165 cells cells available. Flow metrics, as I discussed before, flow metrics shows the number of trips, the number of pallets transported between every pair of departments. From 3 to 1, I expect to move 15 pallets. From 1 to 3, nothing. Okay? How about cost metrics? We haven't discussed cost metrics in pairwise exchange method. Let, let me simply talk about it. Cost metrics shows the unit cost of handling one pallet or one trip between every pair of departments. It is important because while we use forklifts between some pair of departments, we may not use any kind of equipment between some other pair of departments. So the cost will be different. Suppose that between department 1 and 2, I do use forklift. So I can move faster, but I use equipment. It, it has energy cost, right? It has energy cost, it has fuel cost or electricity cost, whatever it is. So the cost of moving, if the cost of moving one pallet from 1 to department 1 to 2 is 2 units, 2 units, okay? Then suppose that from 1 to 3, I do not use any equipment, I do not use any machine, I move goods with my hands, okay? Only labor cost is incurred. So the cost will be less than the cost between 1 and 2. So in this case, you can specify that the cost of handling one pallet between 1 and 3 is 1, and between 1 and 2 is 2 two times more than handling between one and three. So if this is the case, you can specify in this matrix. Otherwise, you can assume that the unit cost of handling one pallet is the same all around the facility. 
However, in practice, it's not it's not true. It's not always true. Okay, because in between some departments, we may utilize conveyors, automated guided vehicles, robotic devices, forklifts, or manual hands. Okay. So in that point of time, we need to change the unit cost of handling. After you define these inputs, then you click define facility. And you have a pop-up screen. We are going to use traditional craft. Okay, you can take a look at, if you are interested, then you can take a look at the opt optimal sequence uh, in the solution method. Traditional craft uses pairwise exchange method. Okay, remember, Another input is required to use pairwise exchange method as well as craft, which is from two distance metrics. From two distance metrics, for this to be able to calculate distance metrics, we need to have an initial layout. But how we are going to calculate distances using rectilinear distance metrics or Euclidean distance metrics, you can easily choose it. Okay, the initial so solution will be developed by sequential steps or by our hand. Okay, if you choose leave blank, you don't have any initial layout. The tool will ask you to locate every department in for an initial layout. Otherwise, sequential method develops an initial method in an auto-generated order. Okay, so these are cut from right here. Department with cells. This one refers the minimum number of cells for the width of each department. Okay. When I click OK, it will say, do you want to create, recreate? Yes. Okay. So now I said that the width of every department should have minimum of five cells. This is what I mean. One. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the width, the width of departments cannot be less than five, as long as it is not smaller than five. Okay. So this is an initial layout automatically generated by Craft. According to this initial white, white. Uh, lines represent the aisles, corridors. According to this initial layout, these are the centroids of each layout. Each department has different colors. These are the area requirement and define areas. Okay. So using these centroids, according to the According to your choice of measure, distance measure, we chose rectilinear, then it automatically calculates the distances between every pair of departments. Because we also know the flow metrics and cost metrics, after we multiply them, we get the cost of initial layout, which is 4,049. Okay? So now, initial layout has a cost of 4049. Okay. As we did in pairwise exchange method, we are going to search for if there is any better layout than this one. For this purpose, you can click solve button. And solve button can either automatically search for the best layout it can get. Okay. Or until there is no further improvement, or you can see the layout at each improvement. If you want the algorithm to stop at each improvement, you can click this one. If you click do not stop, the algorithm will search for the best layout until it doesn't get any further improvement, and then stop and show the best one it finds. It finds, okay? Let me click do not stop. I want to see the best it gets. Okay, there you go. The algorithm found a better layout than the initial layout, which has a cost of 3573. To be in order to get this layout, 
it, it it got this improvement at each iteration. In the first iteration, it got an improvement, this improvement, by switching departments 10 and 9. In the second iteration, it got this improvement, switching by these departments. In the third iteration, it got this. And in the fourth iteration, it got this, OK? And then the algorithm didn't get any further improvement. Therefore, I'm sorry, the algorithm got another improvement which is this in the last iteration, OK? So if you want to see the flows in this layout, you can click Show Flows. This is the flow map, like activity relationship chart in systematic layout planning approach. Ticker lines show where the flows, is very, where the flows are very intense. Thinner lines show that where the flows are very weak. OK, if you want to manually switch any pair of departments, click Switch. Remember, Craft can only switch departments if they are adjacent to each other or have equal sizes. In this example, 3 and 5 are adjacent. I can switch it. However, I cannot switch 3 and 10, 3 and 6, OK, because they are not adjacent, or 8 and 9. Now, let's go ahead and switch three, two departments. Let's switch 3 and 5 and see the effect of this switch, OK? So the algorithm switch it, and the cost slightly increased and then we evaluate the I'm sorry let me switch again switch another one let me switch eight and ten I think we need to click evaluate after we make it change no actually not it automatically calculates the switch okay yes um if you want to have any, any random layout, you can click this one. Um, any other thing I need to? If you want, if you need to change any any of the methods we've previously uh, defined, you can click facil change facility. Okay, now let's talk about when we will feel good about the layout we get. As I said in pairwise exchange method, the quality of the solutions of pairwise exchange method or craft is based on the initial layout. Okay, so when you change the initial layout, it, it is likely to have better layouts than before. So for this purpose, after we solve the layout problem by having this initial layout, then we had better to resolve it using different initials. Like in this example, we had this initial layout, right? Which is worse than before. Let's solve it and see what we get. Solve it. Okay, there you go. We get 3556, which is far better than the initial layout. Am I going to stop? No. In order to get this improvement, I went through six iterations, but still it depends on the initial layout. Let me change the initial layout and look for if I can get better one. Now, this is a different initial layout, which has a cost of this. Okay, And do not forget to keep the best layout you found at every time you change the initial layout. Okay, Then I'm going to solve it. OK, now it is worse than before. So I don't need to keep this layout because I have a better layout, which I got in the previous step, OK, which has a cost of 3557. Let me change the initial layout and solve it, OK, which is worse than before. Random in change initial layout, solve it. OK, now. It is 36, 
24, but still worse than the best one I found so far. One more time, worse. Again, let's say one more time. It is worse. Change the initial layout, resolve the problem. Change the initial layout, resolve the problem. Change, you see? Different initial layout causes different good solution. So this is 3550. Wow, this is better than the best one I found so far. So I had better to keep this layout. I had better to keep it. Looking at this, let's let's take a look at this layout. As you see that the shape of the departments don't have to be a rectangle, right? This is a rectangle. This is a rectangle square this is a square this is a rectangle but department three eight and four departments four department four doesn't have a rectangular shape rectangle shape so this is one of the advantages of craft in comparison to simple pairwise exchange method um yeah i think it's enough for, huh last thing If you want to recreate a new problem, it's because in right here we are not allowed to change the number of departments, right? So if we are going to work on a new problem, that's what we are gonna do. While this laden xlsx file is open, go back to your folder, click layout.xla and enable macro. As soon as you enable macro, you will have an add-in section up right there. Click add-in and you will see this button, O-M-I-E, okay? Create new layout. Name your new layout. Online example. How many departments you are going to have? 20. I don't know the limitation, okay? How about number of fixed points? Do you have any number of fixed points? The input output points throughout the facility, like as ducts, okay, doors. Let's say no for now, okay. This for a distance measure, I'm gonna use M and make a random problem. If you have the data, you don't need to click it, okay? You can type them in a sheet. So now this is the online example layout. 20 departments, the length is 20, 20, automatically given. Each department has equal size. This is a randomly generated flow matrix, and this is the cost matrix. Then you can define your facility, traditional craft, sequential, rectilinear, and OK. Good. From now on, you can start to work on your problem. Okay, this is enough for now. Um, this is actually the end of facility layout module. I hope it helps your studies. Um, yep, have a nice day. Take care. Bye.